child. Let me sit down and get this thing up and popping. Welcome, beautiful people. I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you are subscribed down below. So for today's video, I'm about to style my natural hair for the first time in months. It has literally been so freaking long, and I have no excuse for it. I don't know why. I just haven't felt like styling actually styling my natural hair i've done the protective styles i've done the locks i've done the braids the this the that the wigs everything except for styling my natural hair so i'm like you know what i miss my coils i want to see my coils i want to see what's been happening you know get back to basics so i washed my hair last night with oliplex system is it called oliplex oliplex i don't know but i use the shampoo and conditioner i've been using it for the past month every time I wash my hair and honestly I've been seeing some progress when it comes to the moisture of my hair because my hair be dry sometimes and if you are new here or if you're my regular you already know that I have eczema on my skin and it affects my scalp so I guess that's one of the reasons why I don't like play around with my hair per se that much because if I do too much to it like trying to do twist outs and this type of style and that type of style all the time on my actual natural hair it's gonna break okay like it's gonna it's gonna not behave so i just tend to just leave it the heck alone and just do other styles i love wigs so i wear wigs all the time it's just me but um yeah that's what we're gonna do so i washed it last night and I didn't use any heat at all. I just put these doo-doo braids in and left it as is. Okay, so we got a nice little fro going on right now that I am not mad at at all. Like, where is my pick? So I'm gonna just take this pick and just pick it up. And also I did a trim about, fine. I did a trim a week ago. Where I'm looking like Jill Scott in Golden. Like, come on, fro. Come on. <laughs> Y'all might just leave my hair just like this. Like what? This is a look. Y'all can't even front. Like girl, it is popping. The fro is throwing. Like, excuse me, this is non-stretched hair, shrinkage, everything, and y'all gonna have to see me about this fro. Okay, cause this, girl, what? This fro is popping. Like, this is the end of the video, that's it. Like. They find the coils for what? For what? Also, after I wash my hair, I use the Oliplex. I think it's the um, it's a fourth step in the system. I'm gonna put the information somewhere in here, but it was a leave-in conditioner. That was all that I used in my hair after I washed it. And my hair is just feeling soft and it's looking thick. Like, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but I should have done a wash day. Like, hello? But I'm gonna I'm define it. I'm gonna go with the plan. Of defining I'm gonna do like a proper fro for y'all a next day okay how about that so anyways I'm gonna put my hair in two sections to define it when you're styling your hair like girl nothing gotta be perfect okay just do what you gotta do and honestly you don't have to define your coils if you don't want to define your coils because your 4b 4c 4a type hair is a blessing okay like never forget that never feel like it's a burden it's truly a blessing to have this hair texture okay just saying so the first thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this as i am um, restore and repair jamaican black castor oil water so who needs regular water when well, you can have a special type of water i'm gonna spray that all over you don't have to drench it with this but you know get it nice and you know a little bit white a little bit damp <laughs> And then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create subsections. And honestly, I'm not gonna do finger coils. You guys have seen me do finger coils on this channel like plenty of times. We're not doing finger coils today. We're just trying to do something. We're gonna be realistic. It's not gonna be the quickest freaking step ever, but I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible for you guys, okay? As quick as I possibly can. So for this definition, the next product that I'm going to be using is the extreme wet wine gel now you can use the blue one the green one whatever color the white one the clear one I don't know how many different ones they are but I've been using this one and the blue one I think it's the same thing the color is different maybe I don't know um, before in my previous routines I used to use the 
Aunt Jackie gel. But after a while, it's like, that's my saving grace, right? But then after a while, it just wasn't working for me. So I switched to wet light and baby, she she is doing the do. Okay, she is doing, look at, can y'all see that? Like she is doing the do. And I'm not gonna go all the way up to the roots because if I do all the way up to the roots, I'm gonna have to stretch my hair afterwards to get a little bit of length, you know? Is it gonna be like super shrinked up? So we're just doing the ends to get the coils popping at the ends. And that is how it's looking. Like, hello, how patient. Did I just make that up? Yes, <laughs> yes I really just made that word up. The population of the coils, okay? <laughs> Don't forget I told y'all. So all they're doing is section, section, section. If you feel a little tangulation, because you're supposed to detangle your hair before you start, okay? It makes it easier, it goes through quicker. Make sure. Now, a lot of people might cringe at this point, but as I said, your hair is already detangled, right? So I'm gonna use like a tail comb or a small comb just to make sure that it's cleared out. And look, I'm not pulling and tugging. You ain't see no hair coming out in there, okay? Like there is no hair in there. Like no strands were destroyed in the process. This is my method, okay? You came to see my method. So that was just to make sure that everything is nice and cleared out. And then just dab the gel right onto the middle and then to the roots. Work. Not the roots, the ends. I'm sorry, y'all. And then you do a slight finger coil. They're not gonna be, it's not gonna be too defined. They're just focusing mostly on the ends. If you want to go all the way up to the root, I have video on how I do finger coils all the way from the root to the ends. For what for this purpose, I do all of that because I end up stretching the roots regardless. So why not just leave the roots as is instead of stressing it out? <laughs> so we have done half of my head already and it took about call it 20 minutes if not much i honestly don't think it was that long i wasn't watching the class but it took about 20 minutes to finish the back section you know that's an estimation and also getting the most perfect type of definition is always really using less product especially if you don't want your hair to be all uh, you know flaky and whitey i have low porosity hair so more products mean a higher chance of getting flakes so as i said haven't used any oil in my head haven't used much product only the leave-in conditioner from all the pipes and then these two products especially for my low porosity girls you know you can't be doing too much or you're gonna take an L when your hair is done and it looking hella flaky when it's dry and you don't want that trust me you do not want that now if you're gonna do bigger sections you can't use a rat tail comb because you know you don't want to tear your hair out if you're gonna do in bigger section like me in the front where you get lazy you want to use a detangling brush and just brush that straight through and you can just leave it as is if you want to but that looks hella crazy so don't do that <laughs> so i'm gonna just apply the gel remember we're not going all the way up to the root that's optional but we can do that and then just do light light finger curls like all you're trying to do mostly is the middle to the ends you're trying to do that that's it so i think when i'm done i'm not gonna leave it in a furrow i think i'm gonna do a high puff like high puff is my go-to it has never failed me yet okay never never in life has a high puff failed me but yeah, the curls are popping do you see the back it's taking its time to dry but it's the shrinkage is about to be real and that's fine too you know when it's shrinkage that means your hair is healthy there's elasticity in your hair don't be fighting the shrinkage crew. Like if you wanna stretch it, cool, but don't be hitting on the shrinkage. The shrinkage means, you know, you got some, you got some health to that hair. It's when you try to define it and it stays straight. Now you got a problem. You know what I'm saying? You got you got you got a problem on your hand. Might be some damage going on up in there and you don't want that. Now if you don't have the special water or you're not a fan of the Jamaican 
back castor oil and water. Just use regular water. Get your regular spray bottle and just spray that baby on there. Now for the spray bottle, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it at your local beauty supply store if you are like living in a city or something. If you're in Toronto, I get most of my stuff from DSW. Another thing to mention, as we were talking about less product, the better. That also includes if you're doing, if, when you're using the gel. Cause it doesn't matter if you're only using the gel, your hair dries quicker when you have less product on there. So it's less work to do in the end. Now I'm not gonna crunch it y'all. Right now I'm looking at the front, I'm like, it's looking a little bit leaky in the front. Like what is going on? It probably just means that my hair needs to work. I need to really work the product, whatever product is in my hair at the moment, which it could be leaving heavy shaman from last night that wasn't absorbed all the way into my hair. Again, with the opacity, that is our issue. Sometimes product, especially if you use, you know, like your hair doesn't need any more or doesn't want any more, it just sits on top, whatever is left. I'm hoping that I don't have that problem right now because I can't feel. I think my hair doesn't sleep when I'm done because the back looks good. The black, the back is sleep free, but the front is looking a little bit white. Maybe it just means that my hair just wants a little bit more water. Because honestly, with low pressure hair, you're supposed to be your hair wet, like dripping wet. But uh, sometimes I can't do all of that. Unless I'm doing my hair in the bathroom, I don't see how I should come out the bathroom and just have water from my head top just dripping all over me. It feels uncomfortable. <laughs> More than anything, I think my hair needs a shape of. Like I need my hair to be professionally like cut into a nice little shape, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do it myself because I'm a squirrel. <laughs> like I know for a fact I'm going to do a botch job. So when it comes to cutting my actual hair, my natural hair. I know I'm not trained and have the facility for that big man. So I'm not even gonna try. I'll trim my hair here and there, but like nothing major, like an actual cut. I can't do it. I don't mess up. Walk around here looking like Cynthia. Okay, so I'm done with the defining process and this is how the hair is looking right now. <laughs> okay, so obviously it needs to dry, it needs to shape up, it needs to do a lot of things. But as I said, this baby is going up into a buff. Like there's no ifs and buts about it because like, oh, I can't be bothered. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna come back to you guys when it is at least 70% dry. So right now I'm giving y'all very much Miss Education of Lauren Hill, <laughs> okay? And um, as I said, I'm gonna do a high puff. I don't feel like picking up my hair and just doing like a, you know, a shapely fro. As I said, my hair needs shaving. So the shape is giving me very much awkward at this very moment. If it was shaped better, like if the back was a little bit shorter and stuff, and as I said, I'm doing that myself, okay? And if you're gonna pick the hair, make sure that you wait until it's dry, okay? Because if you pick it while it's dry, it's gonna take off some of the definition that you already did. So, we're gonna put this baby up into a cute little puff. Um, I'm gonna be using this bun. Oh, this is kinda dirty. This is kinda dirty, isn't it? I haven't used this bun in so freaking long. I need a new one. So anyways, I got this bun from a new supply store. Um, I think it was a headband or no, I think it was just a very large hair tie. So this is what we're gonna use. Now, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna use edge control. I'm not gonna use edge control or swooping it up. I'm gonna use edge control for the edges, of course. But I'm gonna go in with the wet line to get it all sleeked. So first, I'm gonna put this on my neck. And then we're gonna use the wet line. Rub that all up in my hands. And then we're gonna just do that in the front. 
I'm taking this little dainty brush because for some reason I can't find my little soft bristle brush. It really gets so right at this moment. I'm gonna do, I want to leave a little bit dangly in the back. I got from my soft brush, so I'm gonna use this brittle bristle brush. So I need the back to be smooth. Don't brush all the way out with the bristle brush because you don't want it to, you don't mess with the curls that you already did. You don't want it to mess with your definition, okay, boo? Oh. And then just start pushing forward. And you can go ahead as high as you want. I'm not going to go too high. I'm going to stick here. And I'm going to take my pick. I remember we're picking from the roots. Not all the way through, just from the root. And also, as you guys can see, like, we don't do it with attention, okay, Pooh? We don't be dealing with the tension. I'm going for all of that. So I changed this little piece here on the blow dryer. And this is what I'm going to use to stretch it to give me a little bit more volume. Now next step, optional. This whole thing is optional, but I'm going to do a little soup to use with the edges, you feel me? Now you can use whatever edge control you want to use. I'm going to use the cream of nature. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all, this is not always dependable, but sometimes it really does work for me. Sometimes I use EBIN, sometimes I use Edge Booster, and all of those sometimes don't work. So it just depends on the time of year, if my hair wants to cooperate or not. It all just depends, but my edges don't just don't listen, okay? I'll just brush that in there. And I'm not going to use too much because again, you don't want to overdo with the product. So if you want your, you know, your quick finger coils to last as long as possible, because you're going to freshen it up every day, right? So you don't want to overdo, overdo the products in one city. I told y'all the puff don't ever fail, okay? The puff don't ever fail. Okay, beautiful people. Now this is the end of the video and the entire look. Let me know what you guys think about this method, technique, and the products that I've used. Like the curls are popping and they are dry and you see how bouncy they are. Um, my hair is still a little bit wet, not too much. So this is a fresh finger coil type of look, okay? So it's fresh right now, but the more days you have it in, the bigger it's gonna get, the bigger and the prettier it's gonna get. For sure, like I guarantee it. Now obviously, everybody, obviously everybody's hair isn't going to turn out exactly like this because we all have different curl patterns. But um, I just wanted to show you guys the products that I use so you can use in your hair and see how it turns out and all that good stuff. But I am really loving my hair right now. My hair is, it's doing what it needs to do. The curls are looking juicy. The coils are doing what the coils need to do. Like, it is just vibes. Just super, super, super vibes. If you're interested in my nose cuff, you don't need a piercing for this nose cuff. I have nose cuffs on my website, so if you go to my website, it's houseofchefd.com. That's where I sell my wigs and also where I sell nose cuffs. So if you're interested in getting some nose cuffs, head to my website and I got about 10 different looks that you can try, 10 different designs. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to be rocking my hair for the next couple of days and Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see because I'm loving it. I'm so in love with it. Anyways, anyways, anyways. That is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Damn That Chef. 
All the details will be in the description box down below. And I'll see y'all beautiful people in my next video. Go on to beautiful people. Bye guys. Mwah. Everything heavy when we step up. You can't hang with a gang, you are fellow. Yeah, everything check, come Stella. Let me 